Ni budak bodoh Kalau kau nak pergi try Buat lah betul-betul Dengan punya Bye Yo, what's up everybody? What day cap? So, you know, it has been one month since I came back from SBR track day, which is in September. And then, you know, wanted to do this video, but been very busy, you know, and then just got back from Thailand for a work trip. I also lost my voice. So I thought it'd be good to do this video to share a little bit on uh, how it happened, how I crashed, and also what gears was I on like my helmet, the suit, the boots, the gloves and things like that how all these things kinda saved me from probably even worse injury right so if those people kalau kau belum nampak video ni well Sally this is how I crash Uh, before you all judge me uh, thinking eh budak bodoh kalau kau nak pergi try buat lah betul-betul dengan punya bike kan pergi check dulu kau punya brake uh, pergi tukar brake pad baru uh. eh aku dah buat lah aku tam leo tong tam arai aku kau tam but why still happen because of the brake fluid you know I wasn't using a race fluid so the race fluid can take higher temperature I was using a brake fluid which is actually meant for road use lah so in short this is how I crash because my brake failed basically it's the brake lever lah ha. so when I you know depress the brake lever it's literally like pressing nothing you know like like paper lah. like even a one year old kid use uh, their index finger they can even push in the lever so that is how I crash <laughs> Next up, what gears was I on? I think uh, to those people who haven't really been to any track day before, you've been wanting to go, but you don't know what kind of gears you want to get. I'm going to tell you what gears uh, was I on, but this does not mean that you have to follow me. Uh, there are many, many brands out there. Okay, so go and uh, look around. I think some of the important things for me is the price la, and of course the design and the looks and then followed by, um, you know, the fitting, whether after you pakai, right, you style out. Can you squat? Can you move? Can you do all the kind of weird stretching and whatever? Because when on track, you know, you need to corner left, you need to corner right. So you got to make sure that the fitting is good. La, ha? My helmet, what helmet was I on? Oh, oh, well, so this is the helmet I was on. So this is a X Lite X803 RS Gold Edition. I really love this helmet because it's the first X Lite helmet I got. From then on, I kind of fell in love with X Lite helmet lah because I really love the look. You know, garang lah, the, the helmet look fierce lah. Huh? Okay, so this was the helmet I was on uh, in Sepang when I crashed. Now, if you look at it, uh, you think like, eh, if you crash with this helmet, then uh, why your helmet look cantik? Well, actually, uh, as you watch the video, how I crash, I landed on my right. In fact, is this side. Ah, now I think you can probably see, hopefully. Let me just put it a little bit closer. Right, hopefully you can see. Can you all see? Ah, it's not a design. Uh, this is the crash. I landed, I landed on the gravel. Right? So this is how I crashed. And in fact, over this part here below you can see the clear coat crack so the clear coat crack and thus the carbon fiber also got affected lah sadly but what's so amazing about this helmet is this back spoiler part ah, this piece ah, is in fact just a piece of plastic but when i landed quite bad ah, this plastic spoiler is still intact so I'm quite shocked lah. But yeah, overall, this was the helmet I was using. A full face. You need a full face when you go to Sepang. In fact, even they allow you to do open face ah. I won't recommend ah. Safety always come first. So yeah, so this was the helmet. I was also on this visor. But this is not the 2% visor. So yeah, this is basically the injury I kena for my helmet. Okay, the best part about this helmet, if you are really, really into x light or you just love the design, right? It's PSB approved. <laughs> So you're no way. Next up, we have the race suit. Ah, I think this is the most important thing lah because you know whenever you want to go track or it's the first time you're going to track, I think the possibility of you having full face helmet is quite high, right? Somehow you might have already have one full face helmet. Doesn't matter the brand, but definitely you might have one already. So but then you're now looking like, eh, hey, aku nak you know, pergi track ah, uh, you know, suit LID ah, uh, you know, what kind of race suit, you know, CLID, you know, uh, Iho LID, you know, you know what I mean? Like what kind of brands? Next up is my race suit. 
Oh, oh. Okay, so this is the racer I was on. This is called the Magna Track Picks. Track Picks, as in you spell it as P R A C K T I X. And this is also the one I crashed in Sepang Turn 7. Why I bought this suit number one thing lah is because of this yellow color okay i'm into neon yellow as you can see even now i'm wearing my own neon yellow clothes so i'm into neon yellow and that's the reason i bought this and of course they have other parts uh, with neon yellow slider on the left leg and then the back part of the zip is also neon yellow now the fitting for this uh for me uh, uh was quite good because i can squat I can really book up my leg kang kang or I can really move a lot, you see. So this this is why I, I bought lah. And of course because of the colors and the most important thing is because of the price. Laka laka oh so your way le code way le code the price is not crazily expensive lah. I tell you honestly, okay. I want to invest on something where I feel like you know I, I can afford and at the same time the price is right and color is what I love. Two major part is because the color and the price is right any tear from that crash honestly don't have ah uh, it's quite heavy lah okay uh, don't expect a uh, race suit to be like one kilo no 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 any brand you get ah uh, it's gonna be heavy okay and that's why you have like very good protection <laughs> okay since i landed on the right let's talk about the right hand side uh in fact if, actually you can see it from here there's nothing much other than I saw that there are like two black pimple at my so-called near to my elbow side. I hope you can see. Right here. Other than that, there's some scuffle black marks here and there. Um, nothing much. Nothing much. Uh, this is the back hump, as you can see. Also a little bit, it's just dirty, you know, but there is no um, scarf to it. There's, Apa -apa pun tak ada lah, ha. I remember I landed on my elbow lah, but uh, not my elbow, my, my shoulder also, but I don't know why the slider looks fantastic. Ha. There's nothing to the slider. Oh at the back bottom, ah boleh nampak buntut, eh, is this color. I believe I have this color. Actually it's white. I think because of this color, when I crash again, when I crash, I was sitting on the gravel while waiting for the safety marshal to come and you know rescue me so i believe it's because of that lah. then you know it's a bit uh, dirty and that's why i got this color here i am not sure what other colors they have maybe if in the future i might get different colors so yeah this is called the magna track pick suit so this is the suit i was on so next up is actually the gloves. Ah, gloves you cannot wear like you know every day you go riding kat luar luar. Ah, Friday kau pergi jemput kau berkawan, Saturday kau jemput kau berkawan, Sunday kau nak masuk Malaysia the kind of normal glove which is until your wrist can you know you got to get the one that is like you know I think they call it as a race glove lah. Basically it covers all the way like another maybe seven cm to ten cm above your wrist area. This is the gloves I was on. Oof. It's called the Magna Power Track. I mean, to those people, if you're interested on uh, those items I mentioned that I was on on the previous track day, right? You can just check the video description. You know, I put the links and then there you go and take a look, lah. Uh, if you're butto butto interested. Now, the first time I can just be honest with you, uh, there's nothing to be worried about uh, because I'm not getting sponsored. The first time when I wore this glove, uh, I felt my right pinky and my left pinky, ah. Uh, in pain. Ah, betul. Sakit betul. My root my hap. Uh, I'm not sure what is the reason. So basically, uh, when I wore the gloves, let's say, okay, I'm putting on the left one. Uh, I just feel like my this part, uh, I don't know why, like, a bit painful. Uh. I don't know what is the reason. The first time, uh, when I go and try all the suit and everything, it's, it's like, wow, oh, I feel very weird. Then when I, you know, whenever I need to clutch in, or even whenever, whenever I need to break, right, to feel the feel of the gloves, uh, just feel the, like not rightly like my only my pinky the rest of my fingers okay you know but it's the pinky part uh it's the pinky part that it, it feels like painful i don't know why initially i was like ah maybe i need to get other gloves but you see like i say it's because of the yellow the neon yellow right i was like ah how uh, i really love this color and then since i really got my magna ray suit right then it's like it's more nice to make it a set right then i was like you know what uh, hopefully this pinky thing will go away then when i went to track day somehow or rather the feeling is gone so i believe maybe it's too new lah. but now when i wear no feeling no more anymore so it's easy and i and i use it on track lah. 
and this is also the gloves that actually I crash with. My right palm, I'm not sure if you can see my right palm here. There is some markings there, scratch marks. Other than that, it's just dirty. Maybe the top part here a little bit. Again, the price is right lah. You know, it's I think about 400 plus, something like that. Always go and try out the gloves first lah. Huh? Because like I said, for these gloves, the color is beautiful. I really love it. The price is reasonable. But only time is when I tried the first time, aku rusa, macam rasa sakit kat sini lah. Only on my pinky. I think you just got to keep using lah. Eh? Like you know, a lot of new things kan lah kena bagi the season kan. After the season, then everything seems to be more comfortable. So this glove is uh, one I had. And it's called the Magna Power Trap. Last but not least, what about your... Kaki, your leg, ah, okay. Oh, lucky my leg quite nice, ah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't really remember exactly the model, uh, but don't worry, okay. Uh, other than I know this is uh, the brand as Elevate, right? Elevate. Okay, so like I say, this actually isn't the boot that I supposed to get. This uh, is not the one. I supposed to get another one, which is comes in white, orange, and black color. But because uh, Shiman can't arrive on time, sadly. Now, what is the difference between this and the one I supposed to get? Okay, I put one down first. Huh? Now, uh, you can see from this side, it seems okay, right? Like, you know, it's just like a race boot. But if you look at this side, it's actually full Velcro. It's not like the one I wanted to get. Lah. And that's the reason, lah, okay? That is full Velcro. So you just open all the way, you book up. Then there's a zip inside, right? There's a zip here. Then you just, you know, put your kaki, the maso, right? and then you zip it up. Zip it up, you velcro it over. Comfort-wise, yeah, I mean, it's okay. I actually kind of like it now. Huh? Okay, because uh, I did try the model that I wanted to get, which is the white, orange, and black. Doesn't have velcro. It's like a rollerblade, rollerblade boots. You know what I mean? And that means at the back here, you zip it up. Then there's a clip, right? Then I believe here also you zip it up, then there's a clip. I can't really remember lah. Huh? I tried that, I really like it lah. I really love it lah. The color is nice lah. But there's only one problem. I think it's because of my leg. Uh, because my right calf apparently is slightly bigger than my left calf. So my left boots are uh, no problem. But my right boots are uh, the back here, I can probably zip like 60% or 70% only. But I managed to click the back because the back comes with a short version of strap or the long version of strap so but then like i said since it can't arrive in singapore on time before the track i just got this and then so far so good because it's like in case ever my calf uh, were to grow bigger uh, this one this velcro can save me uh, because i can stick slightly further if there's a need to uh. in the near future maybe i will try to get that boots that i wanted because i still love that color uh, because this is just pure black but then again it's okay it's okay so this is the brand Elevate if you are interested. Okay, Elevate. Okay, it's from Italy if I'm not wrong. Worthwhile to mention, it's um, my back protector. So that is something that you also can get. Oh, okay, so this is the back protector. Okay, so this one you're supposed to wear it first. Then you put on your race suit. Okay, wear it Wear on it like that. Like that. Make it tighter, and then that's about it. There you go. After you put on this, then you put on your race suit. Normally, it's recommended lah to get a back protector. Even you have the hump at the back of your race suit lah, but it's always good to have a back protector. Whether you want to get the chest protector, I think that will be a secondary lah. Actually, it's also by Magna. Right, since I'm there already, I'm senang ah beli semua kat satu kedai, kan? So yeah, this is the back protector. So I hope to those people, if you are planning for a trade day, you know, sometime soon, uh, whether it's next year, which is 2023 or whatever or whenever, I hope this video uh, somehow or rather help you lah in terms of what are the things that you might want to take note lah, if it's the same brand that you want to go with, the one I was on and then at least you know like oh these are the things that you know Titi Pong was actually on before and it crashed and it seems good you can just go to the relevant shops uh, which is Regina Specialties you know that's where I got my stuff from my next video I was thinking to do a video whereby you know how much you need to set aside 
for your first track day. So I hope I can also share again lah that video so that to those people kalau kena pergi track kan at least you lucang lah. So with that this is Titi Pong. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you are looking forward because I'm also looking forward to my next video. So with that kop kun krap and I'll see you all soon or to those people who are going to November track day. I'll see you there. Thank you. Bye-bye.